So just north of the rapidly growing area of Claremont is an area that I think has a lot of potential with massive residential development to come over the next couple of years. Coupled with the fact that there is more investment into retail and medical, I think it's time we start talking about moving to Mineola. <laughs> All right, so where is Mineola? Like I said in the beginning, it's just north of Claremont. Zip code is going to be 34715 if you're looking online. In terms of proximity, you're just under 30 minutes to Disney, depending on where you are in Mineola. Of course, it can definitely vary if you are closer to like the Turnpike, which we're going to talk about that in a little bit. But you have like 15 minutes to downtown Winter Garden, about 10 minutes to downtown Claremont about 30 to 45 minutes to the airport. It's really much more of a convenient location than it might let off initially, and that's just due to the toll roads. I mean, it can take longer if you want to, but unlike places like Davenport, where most of the times you're really stuck between going on 192 and I-4 traffic, you have that option to take the local road in Mineola, but you also have the beautiful option of using the toll roads to get you down into Orlando in no time, which makes commuting a little bit easier. So as a Mineola resident, what is there to do? Well, you've just got a Publix, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, but really the biggest draw to Mineola is that you're so close to places like downtown Claremont, downtown Winter Garden. It doesn't take you 45 to 50 minutes on a good day to get to Disney. It takes you about 30. You have all of your daily necessities nearby, like a CVS, a Walgreens, your Starbucks, your Walmart, your banks, you know, all of that stuff. And you're able to have all of that without paying a premium on pricing. So it really just comes down to knowing that, hey, I might have to drive five, 10, 15 minutes more to get to the places I need. But with that, I'm getting a house that better fits my needs, whether that be within your budget or something else. And I think once you rationale that within your mind, you're gonna be extremely happy with your choice to live in Mineola. So let's talk about housing in Mineola and this is obviously where I think this area shines the most is the affordability aspect. They're talking most homes are sitting in between the mid threes to high fives and I mean that is crazy when you think about it because a lot of it is new construction. I just saw a house listed in Mineola for 470, 2600 square feet, three car garage which is crazy uh, to really think about it. I just left Lake Nona the other day looking at townhomes in the mid fours for context. So you're talking a lot of bang for a buck for the person looking to kind of stretch their money as far as possible I think Mineola is a solid option to look at you have beautiful new construction communities like Ardmore Reserve which is extremely popular and they have a lot of inventory homes for those looking to get new but maybe not want to wait you know eight to nine months um, and you're talking 4,400 square foot homes just under 600,000 think about how crazy that is I'll put like a comparison up between a house like that in Mineola and then some of the more popular areas here in Central Florida but apart from Ardmore Reserve you have like Beezer Homes with Parkview at the Hills and then what I'm most excited about is the master plan development of Hills of Mineola. That's thousands of homes to be built over the next couple of years. You're talking Dream Finders, Starlight Homes, Ashton Woods, Meritage Homes. You also have Pulte with their 55 plus community of Del Webb Mineola, which I know is a very highly anticipated. Uh, it's about 800 units, I believe, 15,000 square foot clubhouse, all the amenities like Del Webb always does. And the views that some of you will be able to get is absolutely crazy overlooking Lake Apopka. The topography of Claremont and Mineola in Central Florida is second to none because the rest of Orlando is flat. And I was kind of doing some research into Sunterra, which is the developer for the whole thing. And it's really cool to see that they were promoting some different exteriors for the houses in these developments. They were more promoting like craftsman, modern farmhouse, contemporary cottage style, which is much different from what Orlando is really kind of known for, which is kind of the big box outside of like a luxury price point. So it's kind of cool to see that they're trying to promote more of a variety in home types. And I really do hope that these builders honor that and kind of offer some of those elevations. Now, with thousands of people expected to move to Mineola in the next coming years, there has to be some sort of support for that. So I already mentioned the Publix that just came on, but you have Advent Health dropping $21 million for a full service hospital to be built right on the east side of that turnpike 
in Mineola, supporting all that growth with the new developments in Hills of Mineola, Ardmore Reserve, the Dell Web community and everything in that area. So I think that's gonna be a really great option. And you also have all the plethora of medical offices and hospitals in Claremont as well. I mean, before there was a medical city in Lake Nona, really Claremont had all of the medical offices. So it's really cool to see that they're still expanding on that side. You also have about 79 acres set aside for a town center. So that's retail, office, multifamily. So there's still gonna be a lot more support than there is now for that area. And I think that's gonna be very good for people who are looking to move to Minneapolis. Hola. So with all the growth coming on in Mineola from residential to industrial to commercial to retail, as well as being so close to a growing rapidly developing area such as Claremont, I think it's going to be a solid option for a lot of home buyers. So look, if you are looking to move to Mineola, I'd love to be your real estate advisor throughout that process. So please reach out. Number is going to be 407-906-9282, or you can email me at romarioG at salesorlandofl.com. Last thing, if you enjoy the content, please go ahead and hit the like and make sure to demolish that subscribe button. I'm going to be posting content on here weekly. Make sure to go follow me over on Instagram. Connect with me there. Ask me questions. I repost events throughout the day. Connect with me there. If you want to see something, you can see it on my Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe.